Why, welcome. How are you today? Good, good. Well, my name is Ricky. Welcome to my tattoo parlor. And I suppose you're here to get a tat. Gonna get tatted up, huh? Look at you. All right, well, I got a few suggestions. Um, I give everybody a little list of one of our, of a few of our best tattoos, just to see if you want it. Our first one here is gonna be the toilet paper roll. Yeah. Now, the year can be anything you want, either symbolic or not. Um, you can put a year for your birth. You can put the year that you have the most toilet tissue. It's up to you. So, how do you like that one? Okay, well, I think that it will be perfect on your left arm. Okay, well, perfect. Let me go ahead and get out my trusty ink gun. Got it tucked away in a sanitized environment. Perfect. So, this right here is my special tattoo gun. So, let's go ahead and get started by adding a roll of toilet tissue to your left arm. So, Almost done. I think it's looking great. Made a great decision for that one. Of course, I went ahead and put the year that you said, and it's looking great. It's looking like a perfect Charmin roll of toilet tissue. Next, we have another special piece of art that is beloved by absolutely every tattoo enthusiast. It is going to be none other than the classic original I Heart Mom tattoo. So this, of course, is traditional to patch it up right on your right arm. So you can see I have a few tattoos on my arm. We got a few, which is a clock rose, a rose corpse, if you move, if you will. And then we got an anchor. Just like Popeye the Seller Man. So let's go ahead and get this on you. Put it on your right arm here. So I'll hold very still. Let me set this down. And be very still. Color it in as well. Perfect. That looks fantastic. You're looking tougher already. Perfect. Let's go. Wipe that off a little bit. Next, I think this is a perfect perfect introduction to face tattoos for you. This one here is none other than the taco. Yes, not any taco. This taco has a history of amazing, amazing parties. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on your face and hopefully that brings you some nightlife. So let's go ahead and let me get really close to you. Okay. 
this right here. Be very still. Perfect. My, I did a little bit of extra cheese just to kind of fill in the fluctuation of the taco shell. So it's looking amazing. It's looking absolutely amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. So the next one that I think you should get, and this is purely for comedy, is the Bobby pen, yes. Now, if you remember the cartoon that aired for many years, King of the Hill, this is a play on to one of the characters, Bobby Hill, and it's an actual Bobby pen. So I think this will go perfectly, um, maybe on your nose? On your nose, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and put that on there. All right. So hold very, very still. That was a very easy one to do. Very simple, modest, very funny sense of humor. Yes, yes. Next, we have a very special tattoo, and this has a place in my heart, um, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. So when they see this on you, I think a lot of people are just gonna love you off the bat. So this one here is, of course, none other than the drawn-in SpongeBob character. Now, this one is a very nostalgic, memorable art from my childhood. So I feel like anybody that's in our same age group will definitely just love you. And then even even the youngins, even the people who watch SpongeBob now, they'll get that. They'll get it. So um, let's go to put this on your let's put this on your left hand. Yeah, that way. You don't have to do much. You can just pop in, show them, show them right quick. Yeah, let's see. Let's do it. All right, so hold very still. So now. Perfect. That looks amazing. Yes. I honestly think I drew it better than SpongeBob's creators entirely. You're, you're gonna love it. So, the next tattoo that I think you would love, because of course, like me, I love foods. I love all types of foods, especially ramen. Now, this little happy ramen right here is a perfect, perfect artwork to complement, let's say, your upper torso. Yes, yes. I think it goes very well. So let's go ahead and draw him in. So hold there still. I'm going to kind of get down here.
perfect. That looks absolutely delicious. Let's see it. Perfect. Well, you're they're looking amazing, honestly. I think there's a few more that we gotta add. Just kind of get put the whole thing together. So bear with me. I have another amazing tattoo that I think you will love. And this one is it's a little out there. It's a little out there now. I personally do not eat McDonald's, but I think that you, of course, everybody loves McDonald's. I think that you would love having a tattoo of your last McDonald's meal received. Yes. This here, as you can see, you can total up and itemize each item and have the subtotal written right here on your right arm. How does that sound? All right, well, let's do it. So let me go ahead and hold it very still. I'm just gonna go ahead and right here. And how much, how much was your meal? Okay. Dang, you didn't get off the dog did you? I don't have any anymore? It's been a while since I've had to Perfect. Perfect. A subtotal of three thousand six hundred fifty-eight dollars and twenty eight cents. You, you really ate that day. It's a good meal. Wow. All right. Well, there's a few other tattoos that I think you might be interested in. Um, seeing as how I see that you have a birthmark that is very exposed, um, we actually have a few things that might interest you involving your birthmark. One would be the ghostly, ghastly tattoo mark. Now this. Is a perfect cover-up for your birthmark. Of course, we'll make any birthmark look like a ghoul or a ghost, and of course, to do the rest to make it a comedic little tattoo. So, what do you say? Perfect. Well, let me go ahead and get close to you because I see the birthmark right there, and we'll go ahead and just kind of make it look like a Casperish ghoul, maybe Casper's uncle. The big one. Let's let's do it. Let's find it. Let's hold very still. Perfect. That is a good looking ghost. Yes, yes. Perfect now. I have one more suggestion. You're you're looking absolutely perfect. I mean you're like a gangster. Looks like you could walk any club and get everything for free, get in the front of the line and everything. But one last thing will take it up to the top. Now, I notice you have a bump. Yes. You might not know it, but for a little bit more we can go ahead and make that bump into a nike jordan bump yes yes this is the original jordan logo of course the basketball is the bump so we'll go ahead and kind of work around the bump with the art would you like you would like that okay perfect well let's go ahead and do that for you so i see the bump is on your arm so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and um, did you want the Jordan in any other pose or is this the regular logo fine? All right, authenticity, I like that. So let's go to get started. It's just all very still. Trying to make that 
ini perfect wow you are looking fantastic now you want to make sure with these tattoos that you get the proper tattoo goo um, I recommend going to the local pharmacy they usually have some very affordable kits and of course keep moisture on them and yeah if you have any questions come back and see the tattoo master but all in all i hope you like your tattoos and i hope this was a relaxing experience for you so if you haven't already gently leave me a good review and come back and see me i'll be here